Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to a Fire TV device. The steps here are pretty much the same across all Amazon Fire TV devices. Now, there's one thing I want to mention is very important. As of this video recording, and probably for a little while to come, the PlayStation 5 controller does not play nice with Fire TV devices. It's kind of weird. Uh, so, for example, on the console, X is to select and circles to go back. On a Fire TV device, I've tested this on multiple Fire TV devices, X is to go back and square is to select. There's something weird with the button mapping and the way it syncs with Fire TV devices and there's no way on the Fire TV devices to adjust the button mapping. Unless you plan to play on a Fire TV game that has button mapping selections and you can adjust it, uh, until then your experience might be wonky. You're better off using an Xbox Series controller which works flawlessly I have a link explaining how to do that. The link to that is in the video description. But if you're still interested, let's continue. So while the PlayStation 5 controller is powered off, you want to get into pairing mode. So to do that, press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time for about three seconds. You'll know it's in pairing mode when the top of the controller starts to flash a color. Over on the Fire TV device, you want to navigate to the system settings menu, remotes and Bluetooth devices, game controllers, and add a new controller. What you're basically looking for is wireless controller. Yep, that's literally what it's called, wireless controller. You'll know it's paired and ready to go if you start trying to navigate the menu. Again, remember X is to go back, Square is to select as of this video recording, so it's a little bit different than navigating a PlayStation 5 console. Now, Sony has this weird design that if you don't use a controller for a while, it will not power down that quickly. It'll just continue to drain the battery like crazy. So to manually power down the controller, just press and hold the PlayStation button for about a good 10 seconds you know it's powered off when all the lights on the controller turn off. If you want to repair it back with your PlayStation 5 console, it's really easy. Simply go over your PlayStation 5 console, press the power button so it's on, connect a USB cable to the front and the other end to the PlayStation 5 controller. After that's all done, just press the PlayStation button on the controller itself and it'll automatically sync with your PlayStation 5 console. At this point, you can disconnect the USB cable and it's back to regular gaming on your PlayStation 5 console and that's pretty much it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.